Hello ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And if you followed me on my social media, I have been posting recently that I am doing a Q&A. And that is in fact why today's title on this video is called Q&A! Question and answers. And quite a few people sent some questions in and I am going to happily answer them. But before we do that, if you're new to this channel, if you're new to the family, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, it notifies you when I upload. And also if you like this video, Hit the like button! And if you want to say hello to me, I say hello back because I'm a friendly person. Comment! Yeah! Yeah! This isn't going to be a normal Q&A because for the first time in forever, it is beautiful outside in London. The weather, de the weather degree Celsius minus plus is very high, meaning it's, it's, it's nice and warm. I'm going to be taking you guys to somewhere nice to Chill with you guys and answer your questions that you sent in to me. Today I'll be rocking my favourite snapback, my Space Jam snapback. I just love this because Space Jam is just the fucking best film ever. So yeah, let's get going. Boop. So guys, I made it to my destination, and as you can see from the blue skies behind me, it is a beautiful day today. And that is why I chose to come outside to do a Q&A, because why would, I, why would you want to sit inside on such a nice day today? And I hope you enjoyed that little montage I got before, before we actually got to this destination, because I enjoyed filming that. That was just, that was so lit. But anyway, let us get right into the Q&A. The first question, is from Wang Bulwash. Sorry, dude, if I can't pronounce your name properly, but um, yeah, his question is I'm gonna put it right down here. Um, his question is How and why did you start YouTube? Did someone recommend it? Um, how and why I started YouTube? I started because I think around two years ago or something, uh, I kind of had a bad past and I, I was suffering multiple mental health issues, depression, high anxiety, social anxiety, and then one day I was just like, I'm sick of feeling this way. So I decided to sign up to my acting class and I decided to start vlogging because I saw it as a way to boost my confidence and help my um, social anxiety and anxiety in general. And as you can see, I'm a completely different person to who I was back then. I highly recommend making a YouTube account and starting vlogging if you ever like suffer from anxiety or mental health issues because it has helped me so much. Okay, so to the next question. This next question is from a friend of mine, Mariah is on fire. Um, Jade, she is a Twitch streamer who streams regularly, regularly on Twitch. Um, her question is down here, um, what would you say to someone who is a small content creator and wants to grow their channel? Um, some tips on that, I'd say promotion is key and having access to all social medias is key as well. You have to, con like there's, you can either go one way or the other, you can be consistent or you can produce quality or you can do a bit of both. But I, what I do is I'm constantly posting on social media trying to promote my stuff and go to loads of events doesn't matter what the event is because i believe it or not i've been to events i wouldn't even imagine myself going to be honest i've been to a woman's comedy night at the youtube space and it was one of the best times i've ever had at the youtube space because i'd never see myself in that situation i've been to so many events and I've connected with so many people, so many different people in so many different industries. So all I can say is go to events and make connects with so many different people. And another very important thing for growing your channel is don't give up. No matter what anyone says, haters, family, friends, no matter if they don't support you, leave them be. Just come, continue to pursue. Be persistent in what you want to do. Okay, the next question is from my friend, uh, James Fire. He's also another small creator that I actually 
he was going through some issues of his own and I said to him just make a YouTube channel do what you need to do and see what happens now he's almost on 300 subscribers just from making content every single day and I'm really proud of him um, that's a bit of a backstory but yeah um, his question is I'm gonna put it down here where do you see yourself in five years time also great videos thank you I really appreciate that where do I see myself in five years time well honestly I don't like to look too far into the future because the future can be unpredictable like anything can happen but I'd say university is starting this year so that's like three years I'd think so five years I genuinely I would like to see myself as a well-established and acknowledged vlogger of London within five years that's plenty of time so yeah that's what I'd like to see myself in five years great question okay this next question is from my friend uh, Jack in the vlogs he's another vlogger um, and this 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 question I genuinely really like because I no one's really asked this before why do you vlog like it I vlog because vlogging is my happiness and whatever you do in life that's what you're supposed to pursue doesn't matter even if I become homeless I will continue to pursue my happiness that's why I vlog and he's asking where did interesting come from well long story short basically before I even became like a youtuber I pursued the business side of things with um, YouTube business cards getting a logo character and a catchphrase and well I wanted a catchphrase that um, standed out but it was used every day and it had a deeper meaning to me and that was interesting but saying interesting is just boring so I just went hmm interesting I take the enthusiasm to a whole other level and it reminds me constantly to make every vlog and every piece of content I make interesting every single day or every single time I make a video and plus it brings out the happy in people when they say it yeah and the next question is from a fan page of my friend Asa um, they said they, they, the questions here there's quite a few questions so um, here, here it goes I'll put them here what's your favorite movie my favorite movie oh, of all time I'm gonna have to say Space Jam because Space Jam's on my head right now. Space Jam, I loved the film, it was amazing. Um, and then it would have to be like Sh Shawshank. It, I love all movies, anything that's interesting and just hypes me up. But recently, the, my best, the best movie is Ready Player One. I 100% recommend that. And the next question is, what's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? You ever, you've ever eaten? I'll be honest with you. Some next Moroccan chili that I had when I was younger, I think. Uh, my mouth was burning for a long time and I, I, I don't want to go back into that because I'm not the biggest fan of spicy food. What hobbies do you have? Like favorite music, uh, songs? Uh, hobbies is like vlogging, that's one of my hobbies. I like writing lyrics, I like to draw. Um, I like to watch anime, yeah that's one of my favourite hobbies and music, my favourite music Whew, this, you bombarded me with so many questions my favourite music would have to be I like all kinds of music as long as it has lyrical meaning and decent beat and rhythm that I like, to my liking but one of my favourite uh, artists is Linkin Park and I'm old school so I like my Motown the next question is from Gab Gabriella. Uh, her question's here, and it is: Is there any other long-term goals you want to pursue outside of YouTube? Um, I wouldn't mind like becoming an editor uh, for editing videos, I guess, or my or a filmmaker. It's, it all revolves around YouTube somehow. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think like I've been through all of those like phases, like. There were other things I wanted to do, but they just faded away with my past. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to, I honestly like to pursue um, being a filmmaker, um, an editor. I, I just, I like editing videos, it's just so fun. I, I like telling stories, and I, I just want to be able to travel more to tell more stories. But yeah, that's, that's all for that question. Um, as, yeah, because I don't really know at the moment. I'm kind of, just taking life one step at a time, going with the flow, saying yes to every opportunity, seeing where it can take me.
guys, this is going to be the last question because I saved the last question till last because this question is, out of all of them, my favourite question. Um, but here it is. If you're an anime fan, you won't understand this, but here I go. If you had to choose from these two, which would you prefer to have? The Rasengan or the Kamehameha Wave? Um, you know what? I would, I would like to... That, that, that takes too long, I think. But like, this is my question. If I get to have the Rasengan, does that mean I have to have Shadow Clones as well? Because if I get the Shadow Clones, then I'm down with the Rasengan. Because it's just, you know, multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu. Rasengan! And it just... It's so sick. But the Kamehameha is overpowered. It's just like a laser beam out your hand. It's just like... Yeah. So, out of them two, um, I'd have to say the Rasengan. Because it's simple, I can just whip it out of my pocket like a like a five pound note and be like, Rasengan. So yeah, that is all the questions for this Q and A, guys. Um, as you can see, it is beautiful out today, and I am so grateful for everyone that sent me in the questions. And yeah, hopefully there'll be some vlogs um, along the way. Um, but this is just a little uh, reminder. If I don't upload um, anything in the next few weeks, or I'll try to, it's because I'm currently on my final major project where I'll be making my own film and I'm quite preoccupied with planning and filming and directing and editing that. So yeah, I hope you can understand. And I hope you have a lovely what, time until I next see you, because I don't know when I'll next see you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, if you want to see another Q&A in the future and have a lovely day.